Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, and this is Meeting Expectations, special edition. Once again, we're with Master Sommelier, Fred Dex. He's invited us into the studio. Fred, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, old growler? My neighbor, beer lover, Fred Dex here, the juice man, and um, I'm just excited to see what uh, the old growler has here in front of us. We're gonna do a little IPA off here. Um, some of my favorite beers, but we're gonna maybe be a little more critical than just um, our normal quaffing of these of these iconic beers. So um, let's see what happens. All right, let's check it out. First of all, we have us a Sierra Nevada Torpedo Extra IPA, 12 fluid ounces, brewed by the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, of course, of Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. And what do they tell us about it? They give us that it is alcohol, 7.2% by volume, and to please recycle. <laughs> and that's, that, well, yeah, we'll definitely do that, but I mean. Seven two, you're getting your money's worth. Yeah, that's right? for sure. Okay, then it doesn't have too much more information. So, oh, it does a little, I have the sticker on here. Uh, I purchased this at the beer barrel down here in Brooklyn for $2.76. And I can figure out uh, how many that, how much that is in pounds, and put that down in the uh, information box below. All right. Well, to be blunt, I've had Sierra Nevada uh, before, but not their torpedo. And I've did a little research, and the torpedo essentially is a type of dry hopping. It's a container. Uh, I don't know the dimensions on it, but it's packed with uh, the uh, hops, and it's uh, forced through before it goes into the bright tanks to give it a little bit of extra aromatics. So. I'm looking for some extra aromatics on this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is one of my favorites. I actually, um, I'll pick up, you know, um, they sell these in 12 packs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I sort of mix it up. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll pick this one up every sort of six or eight go around. So I drink this beer maybe once every two months. Okay. Something like that. So this is an old familiar friend. Yes. Well, why don't you crack it open? Let's crack it open. And see if it meets expectations. Let's do it. Well, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. And if you've been here before, sure. welcome back. Well, did I'd be, I'd be interested to know if the term extra IPA was created by Sierra Nevada. That would be a good question uh, because uh, it, I've, it's, it's been picked up now for, you know, all the way, so, whoops. So let's check the temperature on this one. It should be best served at around 45. Hmm. And, no, yeah, for, for, well, cellar temperature is 50, right? Yep. Okay, well, cellar temperature it is, and uh -huh. it is 50. Now, well, let's look at the color there. Love the color. Yep. You know, with that little darker amber, uh, you know, uh, amber auburn color, you're going to get a little bit more richness, a little bit more, um, I think, you know, more alcohol, I mm -hmm. expect, too. And beautiful head. I was going to say, that holds up pretty good for that for amount of alcohol. Yeah. Let's get some nose in there. It's kind of mild to start with. I, it's, I'm getting hops, but I'm getting it's the not grapefruit. overpowering. Yeah, I get the citrus, I get the grapefruit, the peel, I get a little bit of that passion fruit, slight tropical note, Whoa. a little piney, Whoa, a, yeah. a little bit of like a, you know, that sappy piney. The layer of flavors. It's a good beer. That is tremendous. I'm getting, I'm getting more out of the flavor than I did out of the aroma. Mm. And with the torpedo, I think that that's what they've done is it's not so much the volatile oils. Yeah. But it's the uh, it's the uh, oils that uh, can go into suspension yeah. that are, are really, boy, what a well, mix. So the, the oils, well, in, in wine terms, there's unctuousness. And certain grape varieties have that oily, and usually they're associated to grapes that have what are called monoterpenes, which are floral aromas, things like mm -hmm. rose petals, violets. And this has that sort of, um, it's piney, but it's also floral, uh, blossom like orange blossom like um, almost like essential like essential oil yep you know and, and what again, a mouthfeel great beer for this the, is for, for the can oh, right it's for hefty. everyday beer yeah and you know a funny story is my first introduction to like really good beer was um, I was living out in San Diego 
went to this beach party. I, was, I wasn't 21 yet. Um, <laughs> and I remember having a Sierra Nevada for the first time. And it was just mind blowing, you know, that was 20 some years ago, but they were one of the first to, to make that sort of style of beer, you know, hops and, uh, and commercially get it across, you know, the landscape of the United States and now, you know, internationally. Yep. So, yep. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a go-to for me. Absolutely. Um, well then, without a doubt, did um, Sierra Nevada Torpedo Extra IPA Meet expectations? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is uh, an everyday beer, and um, I, I mean, I go back to it, and I think, you know, for a brewery with this level of production, to make something like this is pretty phenomenal, and Sierra Nevada keeps doing a great job. Cheers. Here's the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations. Mm. Ah. 